Welcome back to the channel. I'm RJ Ron Kilio. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Recently, I got a chance to check out a really cool piece of software, and it really is a game changer if you're trying to learn songs or learn licks from recordings, as well as be able to practice them in an effective manner. The software is called Songmaster by Orally Sound, and in this video, I want to give you a basic overview of what it can do and how it can be beneficial uh, to your learning process as well as practice routine. The software is available for both Windows and Mac computers. It supports a wide range of audio file formats, and there's a free trial version if you want to test it out. Songmaster uses advanced machine learning and algorithms to determine the sections of a song chords, bars, tempo, time signature, key, and tuning. It also has the ability to extract individual stems from a regular stereo audio file, meaning it can separate the vocals, drums, bass, and guitars, allowing you to solo or mute different instruments and adjust the volume and panning, which is great for hearing individual parts better or for creating like a rough backing track to practice to. And of course, you have the ability to slow down and speed up the audio without affecting the pitch. You can also adjust the pitch if you'd like to transpose the music to a different key, loop control, and much more. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is what the Songmaster app looks like when you open it up. I'm going to show you two examples. The first one, I want to show you uh, how it can be used to learn, you know, fast licks from a song and show you how you can not only slow down and loop the, the music over and over again, but also how you can extract the stem so you can just hear, you know, the guitar sound without hearing the drums or the bass, as well as a really cool feature called Phrase Trainer, which can help you practice it. So I'm going to load in an MP3 file just by clicking and dragging it onto the app. So this is an excerpt from a solo I did uh, for my band Transatlantic Radio. Shout out to Transatlantic Radio. So hopefully when you saw me drag it in, you could kind of see that it was analyzing the actual audio file. Let me show you again. I mean, really, really quickly on the left side, there was like a, a bar saying that it was working. But once you drop in the audio file, you've got these uh, tracks at the top, which show you uh, bar divisions, sections, kind of a rough section of how it analyzed the, the, the piece of music, uh, intro, you know, A, B, verse, chorus, all that stuff. And this stuff you can manipulate after the fact just to adjust it. But then you've got this track here that has the chords laid out and it actually analyzes, you know, the song and spits out the chords and it actually works perfectly. So uh, let me play you what the uh, audio sounds like. It's just my solo. And because I played that solo and I know how the chord changes go, these are entirely correct. These chords that it extracted uh, are entirely correct. So good job, Songmaster. I should point out, depending on the, uh, the song and the recording, you know, sometimes it does a great job and sometimes it's, you know, if it's a riff-based song, it's kind of hard for it to hear what the actual chord changes are if it's, if, you know, the instruments are playing a riff like a Led Zeppelin song or something. But overall, with all the songs that I've tested, it does a pretty good job. So another thing that it analyzed pretty well is the uh, the BPM, the tempo of the song. Uh, at the bottom here, you've got the metronome. And when I play back the song, you can see it kind of adjust from like 122.9 to like 123.2 or whatever. So watch the metronome. So it's pretty accurate, you know, even to the uh, the tenth of a, a BPM. So let's get into how uh, you can use this to learn the solo. I can drag this in so I can just kind of focus on a particular part of the solo. Let's focus on the, the, uh, the beginning part. So just that, you know, those two bars, if I hit loop, We've got this yellow section here, and I can adjust these so we can go from here. So 
So let's work with just that section right now. Um, down here and under the tools, we've got the speed, which you can go, you know, anywhere from normal speed and in really, you know, little increments all the way down to 10% speed. Really, really slow. Now, most of us are used to learning it to half speed, so we can go to 0.5. And then it'll just loop over and over again. So we can start there. Um, and obviously, like I said, you can go all the way down and even faster. I don't know why you wouldn't want to go faster, but if you want to, if you want to challenge yourself. But let's stick with 0.5. So down here, you can adjust the pitch uh, by semitones. So like half step. And when you do that, you can kind of see on the chords track that... Uh, it adjusts accordingly. So if I go down two uh, steps, that's a whole step, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the scents, that's for fine tuning if you really want to get uh, super fine with it. And octaves, you can go down three octaves, you can go up three octaves, which might be cool if you're trying to learn like a, a, something in a bass frequency or something where it's you need to adjust the uh, the octave to hear it better. There's also a feature here called auto pitch, which says here, adjust the pitch of the song to bring it to 440 hertz. So if it's not tuned perfectly to 440, but you can do that and it'll, you know, click it into 440 so everything is uh, perfectly in tune. Uh, also, there's a feature here, instrument transposition. So let's say you're working on a, a an instrument like a horn, like a sax or even a trumpet that's in a different key than, you know, a standard C. Uh, you can adjust just the uh, the chords um, to uh, to change without ad adjusting the actual pitch. So like, you know, if you're in a E flat instrument, you can adjust the uh, transposition for you. For us guitarists, we stay with zero. Here is where you can get really fine tuned with uh, the loop control. You can adjust the uh, amount of time that it loops. Uh, when it's set to zero, it's going to loop infinitely, but you can have it so it just loops, you know, t twice in a row, three times in a row. Um, I like to loop it infinitely until I stop. And then you can adjust um, down here. You can kind of nudge the, uh, the locators, the left and right locators, or move the entire section, you know, an entire bar. Now here is my favorite feature, and this is the phrase trainer. So when you have a section that's looped, and you click on Phrase Trainer, this is a great way to practice licks that you're learning. So what it does, it loops the section starting at a low tempo, and every repeat, every time it loops, it gradually increases the speed up to, you know, 100% speed, which is all set by you. So, for instance, right now it's going to start the loop at 60% uh, speed, and then we're going to end it at 100% speed. So I can make this, let's start at 50% speed, which is going to be 61 BPM. Uh, so you can either adjust it by percentage or by, by BPM. So this is the increment tempo. So every time it loops, every time it repeats, it's set to uh, go up either 5, BM, 5 BPM or 4%. So we can adjust this like, okay, let's go up 10 BPM every time. Uh, and then it's cool. It gives you like a readout like then that means it'll loop eight times according to these parameters. Now you also have a feature where you can repeat at the same tempo uh, a couple times. So it's set to three times for the purposes of this so it doesn't get too long. Let's just do it once. So every time that it loops, it's going to go up 10%. Uh, Starting at 61 BPM. So this is 61 BPM or 50%. 71 beats per minute, 81 beats per minute, 91 beats per minute, 101 beats per minute, you get the idea. And there we go. And that's it. So you can set it to just 
however you want to practice it, uh, which is great. For me, you know, if I was practicing a certain lick, I might, you know, repeat it a couple more times and gradually, you know, increase it maybe 5 BPM every time. So I think that's a really, really cool way to be able to learn licks. Um, I wish I had that uh, when I was learning guitar when I was a kid. Another similar feature, which I think is more for jazzier uh, passages, is the key trainer. So what this does, it will adjust the passage that you've looped to different keys. So this is set up so it goes through the sequence of uh, like the circle of fifths, which a lot of jazz people do, which is what I used to do in college. Uh, so check this out. It's going to go from one key and then go up a fifth and so on and so forth. So now we're in the key of B. Next key is up a fifth. So I think that's an interesting feature to include on this. Bravo, song master. Okay, so now let's say you're learning the solo, but you're having a hard time hearing the guitar part through the drums, the bass, the keyboards, and all that stuff. If you go to Mixer, this is where you can extract the individual stems from the song. So remember, I just imported a basic MP3 file, uh, stereo track. There's no track, you know, individual tracks to it. It's just like something that you would listen to normally. What this will do is that it'll use, you know, it's learning an algorithm to, uh, I guess, EQ or, and filter certain frequencies and be able to generate uh, individual uh, tracks. So check this out. I just hit generate stems and it will separate it as vocals, drums, bass, and then the rest, which is usually guitar and keyboards on one. So check this out. Generate takes a couple seconds, depending on how long your file is. That wasn't too long. So this is playback normally, right? But as you can see, it kind of looks like a, a DAW. So you've got a track for vocals, a track for drums, the rest, the bass. You've also got like a mixing section here. <clears throat> so I can, let's see, uh, I can mute the drums, for instance. No drums. Drums are back. I can mute the bass. Or I can solo. Let's solo the guitar part. So it keeps the guitars and the keyboards kind of in the same frequency range. So it does a great job. So with this, like if I wanted to a learn just the guitar part, I could do that. Go back to tools, adjust the speed. And there I'm already hearing the guitar, you know, even better. Uh, something else you can do. You can kind of use this as a backing track maker. So if I wanted to practice, once I learned the lick and I want to practice it, I could mute this section and so I just have kind of drums and bass. And like I said, it's analyzing the frequencies and in certain recordings, some of the frequencies kind of converge, so that's why you're hearing some of those remnants of the guitar. But for the most part, it, you know, considering how fast it did it, it does a pretty good job. But you also have control over the mixing. So if I want to hear all of the instruments, but just at different levels, I can bring down, let's see, there's no vocals, but drums, bass, and then the rest. Let's say I want to bring down the drums and just hear a little bit of it and a little bit of the bass. Or if I want to pan left and right, I don't know if it's going to come through on your end stereo, but the drum should be on one side and the bass is on the other side. So complete control over this, 
you know, simple stereo bounced uh, MP3, which is super, super cool. Okay, the other way that I would use Song Master is to basically learn songs, learn the chords of songs. So I've got a rough mix of that song we just heard, which is from my band Transatlantic Radio. So I'm going to drop it into here. Do I want to save the changes? Nah, that's fine. There, it's analyzing the chords. So this is kind of the, the main song that we recorded. And um, I can tell you that it does a great job of analyzing the chords just by looking at it. Um, like I said, the sections, you know, it does an okay job, a, start, a good starting point, but you can also uh, adjust this accordingly. So here's the song. So the track itself starts right on the downbeat, on the one, uh, and it's being analyzed as beat four. So I'm going to adjust that just by going to edit bar times, and I can just drag, see where it says one right here? I'll just drag it to the beginning so we're all good. So now it starts right on the one. We'll check it out here on the, on the transport. Now... It's seeing it as halftime, so I would just go double BPM. And, yeah. And there you go. So the bar times are good. If I want to be practicing with this, I can also adjust the sections. We can make this say intro, right? I think it goes to. Right there, verse starts. Right there in the bar 11. So I can drag this out here, make this say verse, and just kind of adjust accordingly. Uh, the chords, perfect. And another cool thing with the chords, you can have normal notation, you can have Roman numeral notation for all you jazz cats, uh, Nashville notation, which is great for here. Uh, I can also make adjustments. So, you know, six minor seven, it's, let's call it a six minor straight. Also, if I get deep into editing all this stuff and I kind of mess up, you can always go to analyzers here and reanalyze the chords, the sections, the beats again. Also tidy up kind of where the markers are. So tidy markers, it kind of shifted it right where it's supposed to be. So in addition to these tracks up top, there's some additional things you can do. You got the time signature track, which if you're listening to a song that has different time signatures, external control track, which is super cool. So what you can do here is uh, this can send MIDI messages. So like I can hook this up to like my Line 6 Helix or, or something that takes MIDI messages for switching to different patches or presets or, or parameters and say, hey, I want to have a clean sound on the verse. And when it gets to the uh, the, the chorus, switch over to this uh, distorted patch. So you can do that here with MIDI. Uh, another cool feature is the note track. So let's say on the verse, I want to remind myself to say, turn on, turn on chorus. Uh, and, you know, put it in red. So I can have a reminder you know, according to the section, you know, don't forget to click on my chorus pedal for the verse or whatever. So, you know, learning songs for a gig, this might come in really, really handy. This way you can have a visual of the section. When I learn songs for gigs, a lot of times it's very helpful for t for me to remember, okay, in this section, it's, it's time to switch on my tremolo or, you know, don't forget to play this lick or whatever. Uh, so that's really, really cool. Okay, so now that we have a song with vocals, Let's check out how it does with the uh, mixing and the uh, stem generation. You generate the stems. And because this file was a little bit longer than the last one, of course, it's going to take a little bit longer. So we've got a vocal track, drums, rest, which is going to be guitars and keyboards, and then the bass. So, another day, another sleepless night. so let's take out the vocals there. Just mute it. Solo it. I'm like a fire, but without a flame. 
So really cool. It does a really great job. So, you know, with this, I can make a, a backing track without the vocals and, and, you know, be able to practice my singing or whatever. So depending on what your instrument is or if you're a singer, you can eliminate whatever pieces of the track you would like to help you practice. And I'm sure there's a couple of features that I have yet to learn about, but all in all, this is a very feature-laden piece of software. I think this is a great tool for all musicians, whether you're a beginner or a gigging professional, no matter what instrument, no matter what type of genre that you're practicing or, or playing. I must say, as a professional musician of 20 plus years, I'm very impressed with this software. Good job, Songmaster. All right, guys, there you have it. That's Songmaster from Orly Sound. If you'd like more information on it and how to get it, link is in the description. Big thanks again to Guitar World and Orly Sound for letting me check this out. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up, share it with all of your musician friends. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, gear demos and guitar lessons, click that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. I'm RJ Ron Kilio, and I'll see you in the next video.